Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone for this new listen. Today we have Unit 1 Listening Pronunciation Conversation. The name of the course is Mega Goal 1. This is mainly for first secondary stage and we still in the first semester. What we will learn today, as you can see, five things. Number one, introduce others through asking about family background to listen for general understanding about historical events three answer questions about the listening material four stress for important words in these sentences and the last objective ask and answer questions related to personal information don't forget, we should cover all these objectives during this lesson, introducing others through asking or by asking about family background, listening for general understanding about historical events, and answering some questions about listening material, stress for important words in the sentences, and ask and answer questions related to personal information. On the warm-up page, how long have you lived there where does your family come from do you have any relatives abroad so those questions you can ask anyone if you met for first time to get some information about we can say family background language in context find out the following information about your partner then introduce him her to the class. Full name, where he she lives, where he she was born, and the last question, where he she grew up. Right? The answering of those questions will help you to just to take some information about your partner in the class. And also about his or even her family background, about his, her relatives, about his, her interests, how long she or he has been interested in them, and your idea at the end, you can add it. Okay, time for listening and truthful statement. Listen to the information about immigrants in the past. Page 10. 5. Listening. Listen to the information about immigrants in the past. Answer true or false. For centuries, people have made major changes in their lives. Many have moved to other countries in search of new lives. One of the great periods of immigration was between 1880 and 1920. At that time, 23 million immigrants arrived in the United States. Most of them came from poor towns and villages in southern and eastern Europe. They had one thing in common. They believed that in the United States, life was going to be better for them. It was the land of freedom and prosperity. Most of these immigrants were able to get just enough money to pay for the trip across the ocean by boat. Many arrived without any money to their names. Often the father of a family came first and found work. Then he sent for his wife and children. The trip across the ocean for poor immigrants was terrible. Men, women, and children stayed in crowded and smelly compartments deep down in the hold of the ship. They had no showers, and there were no dining rooms for them. They went up on deck to get food from huge pots. This was the price they had to pay to get to the new world. On their arrival in the United States, they saw the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor but they weren't free to enter America right away. When immigrants landed in New York, ferry boats took them to Ellis Island, where immigration officers questioned the new arrivals and doctors examined them. Those who failed the medical exam had to go back to their native countries. Sometimes, if a child was ill, the entire family had to return. Ellis Island became known as Heartbreak Island among immigrants. All right, now we should 
highlighted or even tick for the true statement or sentences and the false one. What do you think for the first one? Many immigrants came to the United States in the late of 80s and the early of 90s. True, based on the audio clip. The second sentence, true as well. And the third is true. And the fourth sentence is false. And the fifth as well, false. And the last sentence, which is six, Ellis Island became known as Heartbreak Island among immigrants, which is true statement. All right, in this pronunciation, we should focus on the stress or emphasize words that they um, think are important. These are usually content words like nouns, as you can see here, verbs and adjectives. Listen and note the stress then practice okay so we are going to listen to this audio in order to figure out where is this stress or emphasize words page 10 6 pronunciation a in english speakers stress or emphasize words that they think are important these are usually content words like nouns verbs and adjectives Listen and note the stress, then practice. My mother was born in Riyadh. Where did you grow up? Mona is going to college in Kwasim. Have you ever visited Europe? B. Choose some sentences from the text you read on page 2. Underline the words that you think are important in each sentence. Practice reading the sentences aloud, stressing the words you underlined. In this page, ask the questions and have your friend or partner answer. You can ask questions about each other, even people you know. Then switch proofs. Where is your family from? Have members of your family ever immigrated? Where did they immigrate to? What problems do immigrants to new countries face? Do you have relatives in other cities, countries? Have you ever visited or visit them? Are there many immigrants where you live? Where do you or where do they come from? Those questions will help you to know more about your friend and also he can know more about you. All right, we should underline important words in the conversation in pairs. Read the conversation aloud stress and important or the important words including in fact you see by the way um, fit in are you ready page 11 8 conversation tell me about yourself i was born here in berlin but my family is from leipzig in what was east germany they moved over to the west soon after the german reunification how about you I'm from Dubai, but my grandparents were from Germany. In fact, they were from Berlin. All right. In the conversation, we heard the word in fact, and we use in fact to express um, or add information or for surprising information. And also, by the way, expression used to introduce a new topic while fitting to be a part or part of. Evaluation time. About the conversation, in pairs ask and answer the questions, then switch rules. Where is Hans' family from? How long has his family been in the western part of Germany? Has Samir kept in touch with his relative in Berlin? In 
in the answers. They are from Leipzig, Germany. His family has been in the western part of Germany since soon after reunification. And the third answer, no, he has not. The answers for the fourth and the fifth sentence, why is he allowed to work legally in Germany? Is he thinking of going back to his native country in the future? He's allowed to work legally in Germany because his grandparents were from Germany. And no, he is not. He is happy in Germany. What we have learned today, as you can see, big changes, introduce others through asking about family background, listen for general understanding about historical events, answer questions about listening material, stress for important words and sentences, and the last thing, ask answers about or ask and answer about questions related to personal information. Those were the references. The slides mean we have reached to the end. I'd like to thank you for you watching. I hope you do enjoy and get something new from this lesson. For more information, Alison, please visit our website. Contact us via Twitter account. If you prefer to call, this is the right, right number. Thank you again. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye for now.